everyone, I'm Christine Augsberger, and today I want to show you how to adjust the tension of your snares for a great sounding snare drum. The goal when adjusting the tension on your snares is to be sure that the snares are loose enough that they're able to vibrate, but tight enough that you get clarity and response with every note. When I think of snare tension, I think of it as a large spectrum with a window filled with good sounds. The looser the snare is, the fuzzier the sound. The tighter the snare is, the more clarity in each note. If a snare is too loose and fuzzy, clarity is lost. A snare that is too tight can prevent the snares from vibrating. It can also sometimes create a choked sound on your drum. Generally, every drum has a different window of good sounds. The only way to find out what works for your drum is to start experimenting. So, let's start tuning our drum. Most concert snare drums come with a three strainer system. Uh, the first strainer is a coated cable, which is usually black, gold, or blue, uh, and that's for your loudest dynamic. The second is for medium dynamics, and it is generally an uncoated cable. And the last is a curly wire or very thin guitar string, and those are for your soft dynamics. To begin tuning, be sure that your snare clutch is in the on position. Loosen each fine tuner until all of the snare sound is off. Start with the coated cable first. Play single notes at a loud dynamic and begin tightening the snare. The window of good sound begins when you finally hear the snare sound in focus. If you continue tightening, you will lose your snare sound and you might hear your drum begin to choke. Go back and choose a snare tension that makes the desired sound at the loud dynamic you're going to be playing. This will be where you leave the strainer. Continue this process with the uncoated cable, this time listening for desired sounds at a medium dynamic. Then, repeat the process once more with the curly wire, listening for your desired sound at a soft dynamic. Again, loosen the snare tension all the way, and then start slowly increasing the tension while listening for your window of good sound. Make a final decision based on the appropriate sound for the piece that you're playing. Once you have all three snares where you want them, you need to check for evenness in timbre at all dynamic levels throughout the drum. Once you're happy with your result, there's one final adjustment. You need to adjust the entire snare strainer as a whole. Now if you have a concert snare drum with only one type of strainer, or a drum set snare drum, this will be the only adjustment you need to make. And that's how to adjust your snare strainers for a great sounding snare drum. Thanks for watching, good luck, and don't be afraid to keep adjusting.